from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is the Anderson Pens Podcast. Welcome to Anderson Pens Podcast, episode 470 for Thursday, December 22nd, 2022. This week we have snow. Do you see all that yeah, snow? It's out? A lot of snow. <laughs> it's a lot of snow. And besides that, we have banter news updates, my ink of the week. Echo friendliness from Visconti, autumn leaves from Faber Castell, a new contest, plus two new 50 states inks that are coming soon. Hey, Eric. Hey, Brian. What can you do with 1,111 that you can't do with 0000 or 9,999? What can you do with 1,111 that you can't do with 0000 or 9,999? Write it one by one. Oh, that's what qualifies as a joke these days? <laughs> I don't have a joke this week. You should but, see the ones I passed but, up on. But for that I, I did learn some interesting information. I think only, the only reason I learned it is because I'm now in Wisconsin. And it has to do with geese. Geese? Geese. And we have lots of Canadian geese here. That, yes. Uh, anyway, yeah. you know yeah. how they fly in that V formation. And poop. And I like them. Uh, <laughs> People say they're angry and mean. Well, it just don't bother them. But yeah. when we're out riding uh, and they fly <laughs> over honking, I kind of like it. It's, yeah, I don't it's know cute. why. It's, it's like they're accompanying us. Anyway, mm -hmm. in that V, one of the sides is always longer. And this week I learned why. Do you know why, Mr. Anderson? Because they're, uh, they're, um, they're drafting. No, it's because there are more birds in that line. You have yes. not seen yes. today's location, Bob. I have not. But you see what it is. I do see and what it is. It, it's uh, Guitar Center. Yeah. Right down the avenue, uh -huh. really. Uh, it's headquartered, of course, in California. Guitar Center is the largest musical instrument retailer in the United States and has 294 locations wow. in 47 states. That's there. impressive. Yeah. Yes. Three of those locations are found right here in Wisconsin, and one of those locations is right down the street. And when I say right down the street, it's, I mean it's a little ways. Yeah, it's a, it's but a, it, you just go down the street. Distance, no, not walking distance. Um, I like visiting Guitar Center because of, well, Have because of all there? the guitars. Have you been there? Oh, many times. Oh, yeah, okay. They have the guitar room. I like oh. the guitar room. Uh, their website states, as a company made up of musicians and music lovers, we're driven by our shared belief that music is the greatest unifying force in the world after fountain pens. They put that on there. Just yeah, I, the, yeah I, they, I wrote they, often, them, often they cut that short. <laughs> yes. Um, and I, I, I'm rather fond of their tagline. I think it's clever. Uh, Guitar Center. Because the world needs to hear what you have to play. That's cute. It's that good. is cute. It's you good. know, I, I almost ended up working for Guitar Center. Then what happened? Uh, well, the company I worked for got bought out by Guitar Center, and then I left the company. So. Oh. But well, we're glad you're here. We're I, glad that I, you're I switched here. from music to music. From music to music. Um, this Saturday, of course, the 24th, mm -hmm. is Christmas Eve. And this Sunday is Christmas Day, hence the hat. Is, is that what this is for? Yeah. And we're we're kind of in the middle now of Hanukkah. Okay. It started on the 18th. We'll end on the 26th. Speaking of the 26th, that will be Second Christmas or Boxing Day or Saint Stephen's Day. But tomorrow, December 23rd, you didn't know this. I did. One I'm of my sure favorite days of the year, and I know it's one of Justin's too. It's really? National Christmas Movie Marathon Day. He's just smiling at me from behind the camera. <laughs> Where are you going with this, Eric? He's rolling his eyes. <laughs> National Christmas Movie Marathon Day. Yeah, on the 23rd. So it's not just a National Christmas Movie Day. No, it's a marathon. You, you have, have to have marathon. a marathon. So you, need, marathon. you need a, 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 what is, a list of them. What is a marathon? Is that three or more? Four or Let's more? Let's ask the award-winning filmmaker. What, what's, what's how many is a marathon? a marathon? Minimum number of... He doesn't know. Three. Three, three I would say well, that's three. That's like a collection. Four yeah, is a marathon. I would say five. I would say four, five, four or five. Five. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Are we doing this at my house or your house? <laughs> when was the first <laughs> Christmas movie made? Anybody know? I don't know. Okay. Probably, I'm, I'm going to say it was probably in the, in the 50s. Okay. The world's first Christmas no, movie was that. a silent short made in 1898. Oh, I'm well. It was titled Santa Claus. It was directed <clears throat> by George Albert Smith, and it was just over a minute long. This was the first time that Santa graced the screens. Hmm. I didn't even know they were making it. Did they even have photography in 1898? 
I was, I was thinking more along the lines of, you know, the Bing Crosby and okay. uh, all those movies. There were many early, yeah. uh, uh, quite a few early Christmas movies, but the breakout Christmas movie was Justin. Uh, we're going to, Justin, the breakout one. Earliest big time hit Christmas movie. Uh, 1946. Second. Jimmy breakout. Stewart, Donna <laughs> Reed, directed by Frank Capra. Capra. It's a Wonderful Life. It's he, he was going for a What's Wonderful Life. <laughs> it's not a Christmas movie? It's not a Christmas movie? Many there's, people would just... There's, just there's a, snow? You heard it here first. There's a Christmas tree? It's a Wonderful Life. It's there's not angels? a Christmas movie. Wow. Okay. All right. I have my top five movies. Do you have yours? I, I didn't know I was supposed to get top no, five No, I didn't movies. tell you. I, What's your number one? Do you uh, have a favorite? I, I don't really have a favorite. I do like It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah, it's a nice um, one. It's, it's not in my top five. I don't... Um, there's... Uh, Keep my going. my favorite is the bishop's wife. The bishop's, wife. which also Justin would say that's not a Christmas movie. <laughs> um, I like that, and I like Last Holiday, uh, which is not as old as Bishop's Wife. Uh, that's Queen Latifah. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer is on my list because it reminds me of my childhood when that abominable snowman was very scary. Yes, <laughs> yes, that, that's a good one. Yep. <laughs> Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street, and one that. Uh, Justin turned me on to that one, and, and I'm probably going to say it's not a Christmas movie. Santa Jaws. Santa Jaws. Santa Jaws? It's a magic pen in it. you got to watch it. There's, there's a magic Jaws pen. There's a Jaws? There's a shark. There's a shark. There's a shark. There's a shark. Not just a hat. He's got Christmas lights at some point. Um, any of those you like? No, I, I, I was thinking the one I like is a Naughty Santa. I think that's a good one. Naughty Santa. That's a funny one. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> I, those are the five movies I will Other watch. Oh, The Grinch Stole Christmas? Yeah, that's a good one. That's classic. Yeah, that's classic. The Muppet Christmas Carol mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is, is the Muppets and Christmas Carol. Charlie Brown Christmas has to be watched, and it's a wonderful life. I have it there. It's in my top ten. Okay. Um, Chris, uh, Christmas is very hectic. Is it, is it hectic at your house? Uh, well, it's just me and it's just, it's you. just me well, and, and Garrett and the cats. My apartment so. is it's just me too, but it's like a revolving door. Uh, Jose Feliciano stopped by the other day. Oh, did he? He just wanted to wish me a merry Christmas. <laughs> And then a couple of times, <laughs> here goes, here goes, if I can get it out, Michael Buble stopped by. Did he? Yeah, he just wanted to assure me that he was going to be home for Christmas, and I don't even know where he lives. <laughs> but what drives me nuts is that how, how at least five times a day, Mariah Carey stops by just to give me her Christmas list. And it's a short list. She could just text it to me. All right, that's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> November and December, do you know what that is? No idea. I wonder if anybody notices we're sitting down this week. <laughs> we're not trying to hide it. Well. And we're wearing Santa hats. See if anybody notices. Yeah. Nobody will Maybe notice. no, no one will notice Nobody that we're notice. sitting down this week. Um, November and December of every year, what happens? Uh, we have a... Oh, he, you peeked at the I notes. Didn't, I wasn't sure. I, you know, we, we do, yeah. we, we yeah. do, we do some I, certain I, things I, in November, December. We do our, um, our, um, our food... Uh, that's true the, the, the Feeding the, America Feeding America uh, a drive we do well, that that's still ongoing yeah yeah. that's one meal for every order for every order until the end of the year to the end of the year yep. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. but this is what I'm talking about our YouTube subscriber drive does it remain underway uh, uh, I can officially make are, the announcement uh, we make the announcement we did it God. you all did it we hit 10,000 mm. just after last week's podcast was published and I think we're going to have Justin put some confetti Fantastic. Can we just watch it? We can watch it. It's like snow. It could be it's snow. Like snow. But it's more colorful. Sparkles. I saw sparkles. Anyway, thank you all. I wrote it down. Um, uh, thank you, thank you. Thank you to everyone who is subscribed uh, to this channel for helping make this milestone happen. As promised, I, I have personally arranged for Lisa and Brian to do a podcast together in real life right here at Anderson Pens. And you won't have to wait very long because... Lisa and Brian will be co-hosting, do you know this? Next Is it week's next, week? next week's Anders and Pens podcast. Wow. So yeah. I better get a Christmas present. <laughs> you mean receive or give? Give. I have to. Yeah, you better. Yeah, yeah I gotta get her a present. We, we do want her on the podcast. Yes, yes, I think we do. Um, so again, thank you very thank much. You. That was yeah, we did it. We did it. We did it. I was watching it daily there for a while. I was like, come on, people. I tried not to. I tried not to because Sometimes throughout the day, one will go away, and you don't yeah. know. What, did somebody yeah. unsubscribe, or was it was it an account that was canceled? Uh, so you, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. But then I, I looked, and yeah. Anyway, news. You and Steph 
did this news last week, but I thought yes. we better remind people. I want to especially remind people of that one, so I'll oh. let you go for it. Uh, so price increases, as a reminder, January 1st for the following Pilot, Platinum, Diplomat, uh, Exaclair, so that's uh, Rodia and Claire Fontaine, Exacompta, uh, Schmidt Refills, and the, probably the biggest one on there, the Lamy 2000. That's why I want to reiterate. Uh, every collection needs a Lamy 2000, at least one. I have a, a collection. Yes. You, between and, you and I, we average one. <laughs> okay, least. okay. Um, uh, so if you're planning to get one you, before the end of the year. Uh, yeah, average increase like 17 to 20% yeah, across the board on all It's substantial. Yeah, it's yeah. substantial. Yeah. And then there's Hobonichi news. Um, last week, you and Steph said it's up to 20% off 20% of the dated off. material. Yep. Uh, but also, additionally, you have now separated the covers. Yes. Uh, yes. This used to be a cover set. Right. So right. you would get this with the, the planner, A6, the A6 yep. Techo inside. Uh, but we have removed the Techo from the set. And now yep. the covers can be purchased separately. And uh, don't make me buy a cover. Because this is a that very, nice. Isn't very, that nice? very, very, very nice pretty, pretty one. Yeah, yeah. And it, it feels nice, too. So we, we've got them in Cousin. We have them in A6. I should feel this. Oh, that's very nice. That's nice. Yes, it's a nice thing. So I was going on and on about this one. You have a glittery leather one. I have a glittery leather one. Now, it's not... Amazingly glittery, but I can see the glitter. It's, oh, you and, can see it, yeah. absolutely. Are you it depends me? on how the light hits it. Yeah. Uh, that's very nice. A little pocket in the back. Yeah. This is, it, I oh. wouldn't think it would be this smooth, but it's very... I'm not sure which one I want. You, no. need, you need the glitter. I think I do. You it's need glitter. What else you got over there? I've got, uh, I've got this one here, just one of the standard colored covers. And this is not leather. This, uh, this is, is not leather. This is a vinyl. vinyl. And these vinyl ones now are actually very, very affordable. They're, they're, some of them are even as and they as last 20, forever. Twenty bucks. Yeah. Twenty dollars for them. Yeah. Well, that's worth it. Yeah, because these were these are priced for sets for sixty six dollars, and then you take the techo out, and then you mark it down another twenty percent. And some of them, I think. So are that's right. the same as this one. Yeah. Yeah. Same idea. So mm -hmm. we have them in several colors. This Different colors. Here's Liberty color. Fabrics. That's a Liberty Fabrics. With all these but, but it's vinyl. On. Yeah, vinyl. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't look vinyl. No. This one no. looks very nice. Uh, but it feels like a it looks mm -hmm, as if it mm -hmm. is fabric of yep. some kind. Yep. Uh, it's probably called birds. Yep, something like that. So that price point is probably a little more than the vinyl. Yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more. But they're they're all very reasonable and they, they n never get old. And this is very nice. They never get old. I still have <clears throat> all of my old ones, but I like one every year, so I just buy. Yeah, them. yeah. And and this. This is vinyl for, for uh, cousins. cousins. Yeah, so we do have some cousins uh, options available as well. This is called Dreamy Soda. Dreamy Soda. Dreamy Soda. And you have, that's another cousin cover. This one here, yeah, this is cousin. This is Zip. Okay. Uh, and this is uh, called PYT Tokyo in Bloom. With uh, rabbits. With rabbits. That I haven't found yet. And, yeah, I'm not sure about the rabbits. Maybe but they're inside. But another zippered one. But this it's nice, it's nice. Yeah. This one, I'm going to have to think of a reason I need a... It's A6 nice, and it's got a nice little tassel here. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, and so the news right was, <laughs> I already have the A6, okay. the cousin, and the five-year planner. This would have to be the travel one. This is for the, for the backpack. Okay. The news was that Hobonichi is 20% off and that the cover sets have been separated from their yep. planners. So now we have a few more planners. Yes. Um, and, yeah. And, the and that's set. and that's all we're going to get then, because we've yeah, that's it. Taken them out for so. 2023, but it's not too soon to start thinking about 2024. No, <laughs> never too soon. No. In fact, I was looking at spring, actually spring planners already. Yeah. You, you, he texted me. Yes. He texted me. He said, "And they're gorgeous." Yeah. The, there's some new notebooks that I, I have to have. I, I need no more notebooks, but I want them all. You want? You want, I want these? Them all. You want these? There's some closures here. You can talk about Oh, Apple. yes. Okay. So, uh, special closure days for Anderson Pens. Here in Appleton, we are closed Monday, December 26th, since Christmas is on Sunday. And the same thing for New Year's, uh, closed Monday, January 2nd for New Year's. Uh, Chicago, uh, very similar, but a little bit different. Uh, closed Monday and Tuesday, December 26th and 27th for Christmas. Closed Monday, January 2nd for New Year's. And then we will also be closed uh, Sunday, January 8th through Friday, January 13th, uh, resuming on uh, Saturday the 14th, uh, taking a week off. That's like a week. That's yeah, almost a week, yeah. Have you told everybody what that's for? Uh, we're going on vacation. You're going on vacation? Yeah, we're going to yeah, sneak a little trip Paris? to... Uh, well, no, a trip to, trip to Florida. So. Trip to Florida. Trip to Florida. So. Um, yeah, so you'll be going too. 
I'll be gone, and then you're gone the week before or the week after? Uh, at the tail end of the this. The tail end of that, yeah. Okay. For the Philadelphia Penn Show. So that particular week, Steph and I will do the maybe podcast. We, maybe we could have a layover in Philly. Yeah, talk to your travel agent. Oh, yeah. She'd <laughs> love that conversation. She would, wouldn't she? There's a pen in your pocket. There's a pen in my There's pocket. There's a pen in your pocket. This is an easy one. Yeah. I think it's easy. I think it's easy. I don't have a pocket, but I brought a pen. Okay. I brought a pen in a sleeve uh, that I'll just hold this like that. I'll have Justin take a picture or something like that. So, yeah. This is a, the other pen I got at the, the Madrid pen, pen the, show. The other, the other mistress. <laughs> the, the other pen I got at the Madrid pen show. And I'm having trouble with these. Okay. Ink of the Week Ink returns. of the Week. This looks fantastic. This I, really, I really I want to hear this. Yeah, I, I don't much care for greens. So when mm-hmm. a green comes along that I like, I say, oh, I have to pay attention. Now, the story on this is I was in the store the other day, and I was looking for an Ink of the Week for this week. Yeah, yeah. And I asked Dave if he had a suggestion. And he said, when's the podcast? And I said, it's the one leading up to Christmas. And he came right out with Diamine Holly. This is a killer. And it is, is... It is a very, very nice green. And it has sheen if if you put enough ink on the paper. That is crazy. And the green itself, even without the sheen. Um, yeah, it's a nice green. It, I think it looks like holly, the actual plant. The, hmm. um, the Diamine Holly was first released as one of the inks in the 2019 Inkvent calendar, but is now available as part of Diamine's blue edition. The color, as I've said, to me really looks like holly. And just so the holly's berries don't feel left out, it has a red sheen. Uh, there's no bleeding, no feathering. There was a slight bit of uh, show through on Tomoe River paper. Cleanup was a solid eight. It was a little bit difficult. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I still, <laughs> you still have still some. Yeah, some. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the bottle, though, the bottle, bottle is the bottle has extra feet. T- ten points for the bottle. The, Fifty think. mils and feet. Yeah, I, I, I like the feet. The feet, are I cute. like the feet. So cute. And it's also available as a sample in a three milliliter. How, how was the flow? The flow good? You like yeah. the flow? Yeah. Uh, sometimes a little too good. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> but that was my fault with the way I filled the pen. Okay. But, yeah, no, I never skipped. It was perfect. Nice. You like greens. I do like greens, And this yeah. looks like a green you yeah, would like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, here you go. Yeah, nice. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I, I do have... Everybody chipped in. <laughs> an announcement about Ink of the Week for next year. Okay, what's that? I'm thinking that maybe they'll change a little bit. You're going to do two a week? <laughs> I'm thinking Three maybe I'll find a notebook that has white paper. Okay. Because uh, this isn't it isn't really ivory, but it isn't white, white. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Some people might even say that is ivory. And I wonder sometimes if that changes the color of the ink, at least to my eyes. And instead of a handprint. No more handprint? Uh, well, I mean. Uh, footprint. <laughs> not a footprint. Foot- no. <laughs> Don't give them any ideas. I was thinking uh, this swab. No sprint? Put the swab over here and then do three comparable inks so that you can compare it. Okay. Something. Um, but if everybody insists that I continue doing the handprint, I will, I'm happy to do the handprint. But I was trying to make it more helpful. It's a new year, and I thought maybe we can do something yeah, new. Yeah. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? New Year's resolutions? Yeah. No. We don't, we're don't. we not going to see each other until next year. We're not going to see each other until um, next year. We aren't? No, remember, it's almost Christmas. It's almost and Christmas. Next, next week you're doing this with Lisa. So. Yes, okay. <laughs> um, it's like, I thought, pretty sure we're going bike riding. riding on Saturday. No, we did that last Saturday. Yeah, how was, that was good, that wasn't was, it? Was, right, he was ride. a trooper, let me tell you. <laughs> we, uh, yeah, tr- he wanted to, okay, it's 27 degrees here, and there's snow on the ground. And he says, let's go for a bike ride. I said, what kind of ride you got in mind? He says, the, what is it? The Wyawash Trail. The Wyawash Trail. Yeah. I said, no. It's I'm not look- anywhere near close to here. I'm looking for three miles that's, that ends at Copper Rock. <laughs> and like, so We can do three miles on that and end at Copper Rock. So we decided to do the river trail that ends at Copper Rock. Copper Rock, by the way, where we get our scones. We've changed the name to Sconehenge. Sconehenge. <laughs> it's where we, it's our mecca. Uh, so riding, as soon as the weather turns nice. Yeah, I like, yeah. don't much care for the weather once it's below freezing. Yeah. And yeah. I like early morning rides because there's less traffic, but the sun doesn't come up till noon now. So yeah. uh, I'm thinking April 1st April is 1st. when we can start riding. <laughs> okay. Uh no fools. This is going to sound like a joke oh, <laughs> now yeah. that I think about right. it. Since I got back from Madrid, you don't know this, and we just had dinner and I didn't tell you. Uh, since I got back from Madrid, and because we can't go bike riding, I've been going to the gym every morning. And next week, I'm going to start going in. <laughs> I've just been driving there to see if I like the drive, to see if I was really up to getting there. And yes, I am. <laughs> so, yeah. 
because yeah, that, it, it was either that or that four thousand dollars stationary bike for your house, and I'm not ready for that yet. What time is that getting here? Yeah. Anyway, New Year's resolutions. I don't have any New Year's. I usually don't. I don't like them either because I, I fall off the wagon really quickly. I, I, yeah. I want to try to commit more. I think to 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 to, to health and wellness and biking. Yeah, and now yeah, it is nice. I want to do a little bit more of that this next year. That's that's about as close to a resolution as I'm gonna have. I have one other one, and it has to do with writing because I, I like writing but i can never think of what to write and it seems daunting you can't just sit down and say i'm gonna write a book yeah uh, you can I, I do that nanorimo but it's 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 daunting so my my new year's resolution is that once a week i've picked a day and a time that i think will work okay i'm gonna start a short story and by the end of the year i'll have a book that is 52 unfinished short stories at least I can get it done. All I have to do is write once upon a time, and that's, you know, not too difficult, right? What do you get when Santa goes down a chimney with a lit fire? Crisp Kringle. Brian. Yes, Eric. You have three pens over there, and I have two over here. I do. And you're going to tell us all about them. So these are just in um, Visconti Rembrandt. Ecologic ballpoints. Ballpoints. Um, so we we, we, nice. we had the fountain pen before, but then apparently these these just showed up. Uh, the ecologic ballpoints they feature a body and cap made from bioplastic obtained from hemp plants, uh, a non polluting material that is also very durable. The, uh, the material has a brushed or satin feel to it, which I think is really cool. It feels it's really the, interesting. Yeah, it makes it less slippery in the hand than traditional resin pens. Yes, it doesn't feel at all like resin. Uh, silver trim, the proper trim, as Eric says. Uh, nice accent and a twist action mechanism extends and retracts the Parker style ballpoint refill. Uh, the plastic hemp materials are obtained from the stem of the plant, which provides a high quantity of cellulose, which is then processed into a strong and flexible plastic, creating a bioplastic. Uh, hemp is an ideal uh, plant for producing bioplastics because of its low environmental impact. And Visconti has chosen to uh, create these eco-friendly collections, not so much because a pen can make a difference, but to remind us that individually, each of us can make a difference. I want to make a difference. And is so this it, a black one? That's the black, yeah. You've got black, red, and blue. And then these two colors were never actually introduced really into production. Oh, we only have, we're the only ones with these. Yeah. There's green, green, which is a lovely green. The holly. And the gray, which that, I think is really cool. That gray is an interesting it's gray. It's very neat. It's yes. not just gray. It's There's more to it than that. It's matte. Oh, it's just great. These are, and they're, yeah, it's the right trim. It's the right trim. Yes. Yeah. And I did, I had to write with one of these before we started. I like these. And it's, they're very nice. I like these pens. Like they're great. Twist. I like a twist though. This green is fantastic. I don't know. I want to see that gray over there. Gray one, there we go. Thank so you. these these are new. Um, wow, yes. there's some something in that gray. Mm -hmm. This is okay. That's mine. Okay, that's mine. I, 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 <laughs> there's another pen over there. There is another. I've pen. got the fountain pen. You've got the ballpoint. These, of course, are the Faber Castell Op Art Autumn Leaves, uh, and. Having just lived through an autumn here in uh, mm -hmm. Wisconsin, there were some leaves this yes, color. Yes, yeah, yeah. There were, in fact, leaves this color. Um, and I really like the design of these pens. Yes, the op art is you really could a cool just get design. Every one of these yeah. ambitions. Oh, I, so wish, nice. I wish I would have started when we first were, became dealers. Why are there some that no longer? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, because they only do one a year. Oh. So they're just. So this, really is, this is this year? Yeah, this will be this year's, yeah. 2022's. Yeah, or maybe it's 2023, I don't know. The Faber-Castell Ambition in Op Art Autumn Leaves features a barrel made of warm brown-colored resin with a fine guillotian engraving, which is accented by the highly polished chrome-plated cap. The slimmer barrel is comfortable in the hand for longer writing sessions. The spring-loaded clip secures the pen in your pocket or pen case. For the ballpoint, the refill is extended and retracted via a twist action. The cap of the fountain pen posts securely on the barrel when writing, if desired. The stainless steel nib is available in extra fine, fine or medium. Faber-Castell Ambition fountain pens come with a standard international ink cartridge to get you started right away. A Faber-Castell converter is available separately. Do you want to try to post that? Oh, I do want to post. These are great. I, love I don't these post, posts. so. They snap on. Oh. Yeah. Is this one of the snap things that Lisa likes? She likes. Uh, I don't know. If she, uh, she, she generally wow. likes that feature, I think. Yeah. And she's a poster. She's a poster. She's a poster. And you're a poster most of the time. 
Poster? Yeah, poster. 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 What does Santa get if he gets stuck in a chimney? Claustrophobic. Mr. Anderson. Yes. Last week, you were on this podcast. I was. And you were here with Steph Gill. I've been on the podcast a lot. A lot. Lately. You're mostly always on the podcast, except <laughs> when you're out of town. Um, you did a contest last week, which was to suggest a good winter ink. Um, uh, but we're not going to go over that this week, okay? Because really, we're we're doing we're recording this podcast slightly earlier than usual, because well, because somebody's going on vacation, and that would be Justin. So hashtag blame Justin. Uh, we're here a little early. The last week's podcast is up, but it hasn't been up long enough to give everybody a chance to comment and be entered in the contest. So I'm going to suggest um, that you and Lisa go, go over the, the stats, okay. the answers, and and give a winner. For this week's contest next, next week. week. But we do have a new contest have this new week. Contest. So you're going to give two prizes. Two prizes? Week. Yeah, two prizes. And um, this week's, I, I, I didn't tell you what it was. Do you see what it is? Oh, Just oh, that's fine. Use that's the fine. comments to please yeah. name your favorite Christmas movie uh, in the comment section. And if you have to name two, go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Um, and so next week, we'll go through the stats of which was the most popular movie. Uh, and pick a winner for a $20 gift certificate. To be entered into this, you just have to comment down below with your favorite Christmas movie, and there will be a random winner of $20. Brian, have you seen the pictures? <laughs> no. You haven't seen the pictures? I, I haven't. Okay, I'm going to What are we talking about? The, the Sailor U.S. 50 States, Hawaii, and North Dakota. Oh, the New Inks. Yeah, yeah, New Inks. Cool. You didn't look at the pictures? No. You just order the stuff. Well, I have seen the pictures, and we will show you the pictures. Uh, there's Hawaii and North Dakota. Hawaii, which is sure to be popular. Uh, it's a light blue ink with soft pink undertones, mm. depending on the shading and the paper used. This tropical color brings us right to the warm beaches of Hawaiian Island sunsets over the ocean. Uh, you've I, been to Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii. You've been over Hawaii. You flew to Japan. We flew to Japan. Did we go over Hawaii? I guess yeah. So. Well, they're about to. Close. In the um, vicinity. Yeah, that is a very lovely ink based solely on the picture. I have not seen it in real life. Okay. North Dakota. Uh, uh, it's a soft mint-like green uh, inspired by the far-reaching prairies that are home to the iconic bison, which can be found statewide. In North Dakota. I don't think we have any here. Bison? Bison. Uh, uh, I think we have a couple. I know there's a wild. couple in Marshfield. Oh, not yeah, wild. Not wild, no. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple in Marshfield, though. At the uh, zoo. While this, at the zoo. While this color uh, may be gentle, it is still clear enough for easy reading and writing. We shall see. It looks kind of light to me. <laughs> it's a very nice green, but it's a soft, soft green. Hawaii. Something they do there with, Ooh, the, with pink the pink undertones That's... makes it on in the picture pop, pop. To you me. know that would be good in that uh, Visconti Kaleido, by just uh, by the sound of it, the blue with the pink. As a matter of fact, yeah, we could put them together as a set. We could. Yeah. We can do that. We can do that. We'll do that in our spare time. In the meantime, I think that's it. I think that's I it. I think I'll see you next, next year. year in a podcast. Um, so why don't we just take it away? Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. I understand, Brian, there might be a store in Chicago. There is a store in Chicago. Uh, it's on the ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton. It's open seven days a week. You'll find Lisa there. Lisa. And is, yeah. is there a website for Chicago.AndersonPens.com. Fantastic. Please like this video and consider subscribing to our very popular YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> and and we're supposed to do the reveal. <laughs> the reveal. What have you got the there? The pen in my pocket. That's, that's a pretty one. This is the Twisby limited edition Draco. Yeah, the Draco. Uh, I think you shared that with us on a Sunday brunch. Sunday brunch, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, uh, no longer available. No longer available. Nope. Rose gold trim. In fact, I've got uh, I've got some Bungo Box and Norwegian wood green in here. Section matches. Section matches. Yeah, nice job Ink window. That. It's Ink lovely. Window. Very nice pen. Broad nice pen. Uh, and yours? Mine is a Mont Blanc. Uh, it is the Mont Blanc Rouge et Noir Bebe. Look it's a that. baby. Uh, hold up the Draco there. It's, it's, it's just it's no clip, of course, and it's just a tiny thing. It's a slip cap, and then this uh, screws into the 
to, you, this is a pen I post, by the way. Yes, I okay. usually don't post, but this one becomes a perfect size after it's posted. Should have had it during is, our tiny, tiny is, pen. It video. is designed to post. Yeah, no, no, I had the Hemingway for that. That's one, interesting. Right? So interesting. That one's mine, and that that is. I got three pens in Madrid. One was a Hemingway, one was this one, and one was the tiny pen. The tiny pen. And I, I did I have a. Uh, words of wisdom? I don't have words of wisdom. I have uh, sage advice. How about oh, that? That's sage right. advice that. based on maybe personal experience. If you find a toilet in your dream, don't use it. And besides that, we're just gonna we're gonna have play the uh, we wish you a Merry Christmas pens oh, oral yeah. singing. Yeah, yeah. So we'll leave you with that and I'll see you next year. Brian and Lisa will see you next week. Bye. Come on. It's okay. Come on. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.